So there's been a lot of uh, MetaZoo news, and this news directly concerns Alpha Investments because he's apparently, according to himself, sitting on a million dollars of MetaZoo. So if I were sitting on a million dollars of product, or if you were sitting on a million dollars of product, you clearly would want to know that the product A was being put in a dumpster, so, shout out to Nick Strength and Pokemon for breaking the story. And then uh, Jake G. I know Jake G is on here quite a bit. So, shout out to him for investigating that this is a real thing. A lot of people in the MetaZoo community said it was fake. I think the evidence shows it is real. So, we went from dumping MetaZoo into the trash can and literal dumpster. Like, a literal dumpster. And... I had questions, is this an investor, is this a store, is this, um, who, who is this, who's dumping, and I believe the investigation leads me to believe that it is actually MetaZoo themselves who are dumping the cards, which is probably not a good sign, and then you got this Bailey guy, I hate whatnot, I'm always going to hate whatnot, I think whatnot is full of scammers. Uh, criminals, thieves, like legitimately criminals, like actually convicted criminals. Um, but that's my feeling and bellies from whatnot. And we used to do this live stream here on this exact channel. And we used to make fun of the MetaZoo whatnot for having like zero people in it. If you watch the old live streams, you can see to end every live stream, we go on whatnot and we see how many people are in Pokemon, how many people are in Magic, and then how many people are in MetaZoo. Really as a poke, oh, and we did Flesh and Blood too, as a, really as a poke to Alpha Investment, indicating even at that time, no one actually gave a shit. So like I said, numbers don't lie. Numbers are not meant to hurt you. Uh, numbers are the truth and the only truth, in my opinion. So the Reddit for MetaZoo has less than 10,000 subscribers. If YouTube channels like Argos Anonymous can't break 10K, you got a problem, right? You got a problem. And where is our good friend Argos Anonymous, right? Didn't he write, like, didn't he make a video a while ago? Positivity, negativity, and taking a shot at me. All right. It's so interesting, right? Um, that he was so wrong about everything, except the time. The only good business decision Argos made was selling his grails to open his uh, candy shop, right? Right before MetaZoo was <laughs> announced to go belly under. By Mike Waddell. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I am shocked that Rudy is not jumping on this stuff. He instead of embracing MetaZoo, he's actually deleted all his most of his, if not all of his MetaZoo videos that were very positive about the zoo. Right? You can see from these titles, he was pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, and even when you click on the videos, he was saying ridiculous things about how everyone was going to make so much money from this product. And then later on, he called it uninvestable <laughs> after selling it for $82,000 for uh, five kits, right? Uninvestable, $8,200. $8, I'm sure some idiot bought $82,000 of this that shit. Anyway, these are big topics in the zoo, right? The zoo's coming back, says Bailey, because Mike Waddell told him. He made videos about barely, you know, he, he obviously thought the video of Mike Waddell's letter was real because he made a video about it. He was going to talk about all, all the great failures and how it was an epic fail and how it was a lost opportunity. But he's, he's not here to educate you guys. He's here to sell you shit. There's never any like people like, oh, there's an education element only in. Enough education to get you to believe that his cards are a good investment. MetaZoo was a terrible investment. I think we can all agree right now, even if MetaZoo has a new owner and so on. I, as a lawyer, I think the legal issues are just so obnoxious. I don't understand why you would bring the legal. I don't understand why you would buy a company with this many legal issues. They literally have a million, like they have dozens, if not hundreds of chargebacks. They have probably hundreds if not thousands of small claim courts depending on how many pre-order native kits they sold they, they're it's, it's it's an absolute legal disaster guys like they probably have broken contracts with their vendors their printers their distributors they they you know people don't understand walmart and target you pay money to be there 
you pay a distributor to distribute. And if nobody buys your inventory, you're on the hook. So they might own they might owe Sanrio money for licensing. Right? They, that doesn't seem like that set did all that well. And then Sanrio will license anything. We go to, uh, my girlfriend and I, we go to Five Below, and they sell t-shirts at Sanrio, and they're like really nice t-shirts for like $5.55. Dude, Sanrio will license their IP to anybody. That's why they're so big. Right? You can buy it in any garage sale, and I mean, it's just everywhere. Now, the other part that I really want you to focus on is his channel is not doing great right now. And this MetaZoo thing would give him views and would grow his channel, but he's still refusing to cover it. Right? He's still refusing to cover it, which I find very weird. Because, and I mean, I'll be honest, um, desperate people, I mean, right now, all, all YouTube is down. That's why I'm only making two videos a week or two videos a day instead of three videos a day. I'm going to do my short stuff because that's easy to do. Takes almost no time to get the AI to go ahead and generate it for me. This thing could blow up his channel again, right? If he were honest and he actually explained what happened with Meta, because so many people are curious about what actually happened in Meta Zoo and his relationship, how much money he paid for the play mats, and the, the, the even met, he mentioned he had a bunch of promos in the works, and then that's why he was trying to contact Mike Waddell, asking him where his promos were. So clearly, he at that point in time, even with the Hello Kitty fiasco, he was still pumping MetaZoo. At what point in time did he stop? When Mike Waddell stopped picking up his phone call? I don't know. But um, I would say that MetaZoo is his biggest failure, and he would love. I would love to see MetaZoo come back, and then him to start selling more promos of himself. Because I'm sure he has a bunch of promos. That he's just, you know, he's got a million dollars of product, and that's assuming he doesn't buy any new product, of course, right? And uh, he probably has a million, you know, out of the million dollars of product, I would guarantee you that 900,000 of that was his own promo and his own playmat, the inflated value he would put on it. So, why won't he cover this? It's huge news. Meta Zoo's throwing, Meta Zoo itself is throwing cases pallets of stuff in their dumpster you don't think that gets over 100k views if he makes a video about it metazoo is back baby supposedly by this whatnot seller who is friends with mike waddell you don't think that gets you know cracks at least 50 60 000 views like i'm not gonna kid you guys we're on youtube because we want views that's the end all be all right if there ain't no views, then yeah, I'm not going to make as many videos. It's, uh, you know, and then we'll do some shorts because the shorts have better views. We're not idiots here. Like, we have, an every YouTuber has this analytical dashboard that tells you, like, what you should be doing. Even tells you, like, what videos you should be making half the time. I am shocked that Alpha Investment isn't making MetaZoo videos.